Want some help trimming? What potter doesn't, right? In this video, it's the Giffen Grip versus the Bailey Quick Trim 2. Centering and trimming tools compared. Find out which one is the best fit for you. Hi, Marie here with a comparison video for you. Getting your piece perfectly centered and securely attached for trimming can be a challenge for some potters, especially beginners. When it comes to trimming, I myself still don't like having to roll up the little logs and attaching my piece, and I want to center really fast. In this video, I'm going to assemble and demonstrate the Giffen Grip and the Bailey Quick Trim 2. I'll tell you the differences between the two, and in the end of the video, you should know which one you're going to choose. With that said, let's get started. This Bailey Quick Trim 2 is 15 and a half inches across, and it only fits on bat pins that are either 9 or 10 inches across. It has four holders to hold the pottery securely in place, and I've had this one for a little over two years. The Giffen Grip is 15 and a quarter inches across. It's designed to fit any size wheel. It only has three holders to hold your pottery securely in place. I've had this one for a little over a year. Let's look at the assembly. The Bailey Quick Trim 2 comes with four metal holders and it's pretty easy to assemble. Place a foam pad on each holder. They're sticky, so you just remove the backing and stick them around the holder. Then place the vinyl covers over the foam. Place the nut inside the slot on the back. Place the holder on top, plastic washer on top, and the screw, and screw it in. It's that easy. It took less than five minutes to put it together. Now you're ready to trim. The Giffen Grip comes with three plastic holders and three holders with holes for extensions and five different size extensions. Because of the ability to self-center, oops, I let the cat out of the bag, it takes a few more steps and a little more time to assemble. First, measure the diameter of your wheel with this ruler on the side. The brackets come with a tiny little pointer on the side. Set the pointer to the measurement on the bottom. Now attach the bracket with these nuts and screws.
After all the brackets are attached, try it out. If it's too loose, move the brackets in a notch. If it's too tight, move them out a notch. If it fits, you'll have no movement. Put the top on. And your shimmies. And the O-ring. Attach the pads to your holders and your extensions. Now holding the bottom plate, turn the top plate until the holder fits. Continue to hold the bottom and turn. The Giffen Grip took about 15 minutes to assemble. Now let's try them out. The Bailey Quick Trim 2 attaches just like a bat to your bat pins. As you can see, you have to center the pottery yourself. But it's great to use with misshaped pottery. Push both holders in at the same time. The cushion holders hold the pottery securely in place and they don't mark up your pottery. I like that. And be careful not to push the holders in too far. You can misshape your pottery. Nice and secure. Any new viewers to the channel, introduce yourself down below in the comments section. Also, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime new content like this comes out. 
The Bailey Quick Trim holds the pottery nicely in place when trimming and the clay scraps go right into the splash pan. Like that. <laughs> the Giffen Grip also attaches easily to your wheel. When attaching to your wheel, make sure the brackets attach to the sides and avoid hitting the back pins or it'll be wobbly. If you happen to use another pottery wheel and you want to use the Giffen Grip on that wheel, you may have to remeasure and readjust your brackets. All Giffen Grips are used for counterclockwise direction. If you use clockwise direction, you can special order. Hold the bottom and turn the top plate clockwise. Centered my piece pretty quick and holds my pottery securely. The holders are not as soft, so you have to be careful not to dig them into your pottery. As you can see, the Giffen Grip does sit higher and my scraps tend to scatter on the floor. It looks good. The Bailey Quick Trim is made of a hard, durable plastic and cleans up nicely even if you get messy with colored slips and glazes. With the Giffen Grip, pieces of clay will get stuck in between the two plates, so you have to be mindful of that and make sure you clean that out. This is also a durable plastic, and it does clean up nicely, even when you use colored slips and glazes too. They both turned out pretty good. My friend prefers the Bailey Quick Trim 2 on her Shimpo Whisper. I prefer the Giffen Grip on my Brent CXC. You won't go wrong with either the Giffen Grip or the Bailey Quick Trim 2. It's your personal preference, that's all. I would say if you're good at centering and make a lot of odd shaped pottery, the Bailey Quick Trim 2 is just as good as a Giffen Grip. If you're not good at centering or just don't like doing it, then the Giffen Grip is the way to go. When it comes to trimming, I like to center quickly, and for that reason, the Giffen Grip is my go-to trimming tool. By showing you the difference in assembly and demonstrating each one, I hope I've helped you in your decision. Please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this one in the future. And make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way, you'll be notified anytime new content like this comes out. Lastly, I build my list of videos to create based on feedback from viewers like you. Now, head on over to this How to Make a Bowl video or this How to Trim a Bowl video. If you do, I get to play with more clay. Let's stay dirty.